Hey friends, welcome. So if this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. I greatly appreciate you stopping in. And if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a subby friend. So I have today um, had a little bit of extra time. So I thought that I would answer a few questions. So I just actually put up a video on the types of glitter that I use. So if you're interested in, you know, what types of glitter, where to get it, I have that up. And so another question that I wanted to answer is about glue. So I get asked all the time, what type of glue do I use? What is my favorite? And there's so many different methods out there. There's so many methods. There's so many different ways to do it. And it really is going to be about what works for you. But I'm going to show you the different ones that I've used. And I'm going to tell you how I use them, when I use them, and what I personally think about them. Please know I'm not a glue expert. I am a crafter and I do a lot of things. So, you know, I like to share what I find to either give inspiration or, you know, maybe save you some money from trying products that might not work for a certain thing. So I'm going to give you my, um, my opinion on them. Okay. So first and foremost, let's start with our Mod Podge. Okay. So this is by far one of my favorite products. And the nice thing with Mod Podge is you can use it either straight or you can add a little bit of water to it. Now, when I add water, I don't add a lot, but I, you know, will sometimes add a little bit of water. So if I'm using a chunky glitter, then I will use it straight. If I'm using a, a super fine glitter, then I will add a little bit of water to it and make it a little bit thinner. So this big container here, um, I don't remember the price, 30 something, I think, close to 40, but I got it at Michael's and I wait until, I mean, if I'm in desperate need, I'll get it with a 40%, but I usually like to wait until there's a 50% off coupon and I will buy one because it makes it a really, really good price. Now, if you don't have, if you don't have the ability to, you know, like go buy a big one like this, because it is quite expensive and crafting is very expensive, you can get these smaller ones at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. And this lasts a long time. It goes a long ways. So don't feel like you have to spend the money to get a big one. Just know that, you know, this is a good value with a coupon if you're going to um, use it often. So I have actually had this particular container for two years. You can see it's still about halfway full and I use it all the time. All right. And now lately I have had people telling me that they're having a hard time finding this at the Dollar Tree. I think a lot of places aren't getting, you know, stocked up because of everything that's going on and, you know, things not shipping is great. So now Dollar Tree has some other glues, okay? So there's this one, this one, and this one all come from Dollar Tree, okay? So, well, that's a lie. This did not come from Dollar Tree, but you can buy it at Dollar Tree, okay? This one I got from Michael's. But here, here's the same. Let me just switch it out because this is the one from Dollar Tree. And as you can see, it's the exact same. It's just a different price. Okay. So this is a great glue for certain things. 
Um, now I have a tumbler that is right now on the turner rotating and I will be bringing it to you because I actually tried this and this to see how they worked on a cup. And now, and then I have a tumbler that I'm in process with, with this, okay? So, and I'll bring them to you when they're done. It'll be a review on these. However, if you are, if you are looking to get some glue and you have to get it from the Dollar Tree, if they do not have this, if these are your choices, please do not get this. Okay, this is a good glue for some things. However, this really is not a good glue for tumblers. Okay, so just don't waste your, your product and, you know, but I will be showing you the tumbler video when that is done. So this one worked pretty well. However, I will say for the first, if you're spraying it on the first time, like straight onto the tumbler, I would, it, it gets a little, it can get a little runny and I would just sort of take your finger or use a pouncer or something and just go in and make sure it's a nice, you know, smooth surface in it that it's not you know kind of dripping down and stuff and then the second layer it just really held well and this also did a good job for sealing so just a heads up but that video is still coming um but i you know would hate for you to buy it between now and then use it and have a problem it did work well though okay and then this one, I'm in the process of doing a video using this, and I'm only early into it. So far, so good. I will let you know when it is completely done, how it, you know, does under epoxy and everything, but so far, so good. All right. And this one is made in the USA. This one is distributed by the USA, but made in China. All right, and then, so Mod Podge, this is a dishwasher um, based, um, dishwasher safe Mod Podge. Now, if this is what you have, it works perfectly fine. However, this right here is much more expensive than this type, and there's really no reason for it. So if this is all you have, it certainly will work, but I save this for more like, if I am, you know, doing a project that's going to end with just Mod Podge. Now this dishwasher safe Mod Podge, I wouldn't put up to the edge of a cup that you're drinking out of to end it with Mod Podge. So A, just because it says dishwasher safe, it's still not okay to put in the dishwasher, but it does, you know, help with moisture, but it also is not safe to go up to the lips. Okay. So just know that. So if you're not sealing it, you know, afterwards with, um, you know, a safe epoxy, just so you know, and then also, like I said, it is more expensive and it doesn't do any better of a job. However, if it's what you have, yes, it works, okay? And then there is this Deco Art Mod Podge, and it is a little bit thinner than my other Mod Podge, and I bought it because I just wanted to see if there was a difference. It works well. It is good for, um, you know, any type of glitter. I don't water this down, though, for the very fine glitter just because it's already pretty thin. All right, now... Elaine's Tacky Glue. So this and Mod Podge, 
tend to be my go-tos. I love Elaine's Tacky Glue. All right, this particular one sits this way. You can get this at Walmart, Michaels, Hobby Lobby. You can also get this at Dollar Tree. So lately, I've also you know, been told that a lot of Dollar Trees don't have this, but when they do, you can get a size about like this for a dollar, and it, again, lasts a long time. So this is really great stuff. I use it all the time. So this is good. I mix this with water, and the reason why this is good, so your Mod Podge dries faster. This stays, dries to a tackiness and stays tacky a little bit longer, which allows you to go in and just push your glitter in really well. You can kind of, you know, rub it in and burnish it, or you can push it in. I like to use a pouncer, so what I'll do is my once it gets to tacky, then I will take my pouncer and I'll go in and press all through it. And then I'll do a, another layer of glue because I always do two layers of glitter. That's just my thing personally. I do two layers of glitter. So I will go in and I go in and you know, we'll pounce it and then I do my second coat of glue and I pounce it, the glue into the glitter. It all helps it to lay flat. Then I put my next coat of glitter and then I will seal it with this also and just again, pounce it in. Let me just show you in case you don't know. When I say pounce it in, this is a pouncer. So it's any type of one that has this nice flat piece here. So when you've got glitter on a tumbler, so when you're first putting your glue on your tumbler, you can put it on any way you want as long as it's nice and even and and you know thin. And when I add water to this, I do it like a pancake batter type of consistency. So, you know, you put it on. Now, once it's on and tacky, when I say um, pouncing it in, you know, sometimes I'll use my finger, but I'll usually just use this and I go in and just, this is what I mean by pouncing it in and just pushing it in so that it's in nice and flat. And then I'll put the glue on it and your second set of glue, you don't want to do this because you're going to wipe off your glitter. Regardless, you're wiping off glitter. So then I take my glue and I go in and pounce pounce, pounce, pounce my glue in, put on my glitter, and then if I'm sealing it with this, then same thing, I'll go in and pounce, pounce, pounce my glue in, okay? Now, it's a favorite. All right, so then we have the Loctite spray adhesive. You can see I do use this often also. Now, with this, you need to use this outside. It does smell. And you want to make sure that you're using the 100 light, okay? Because the other one is going to dry way too fast, all right? So this dries pretty quickly. So when I use this, I have everything ready. I spray it outside and then put on my glitter. Let it dry and then, you know, I'll spray it again for my second coat. And I will generally, if I'm using this, I like to try and stay with the same product all the way around. So if I'm putting my glitter on with this glue, I seal with this glue. Now, the only difference to that is with Mod Podge, if it is a super fine glitter, then I will seal with spray Mod Podge, okay? Now, the Loctite dries very quickly, so you don't have, you don't have a lot of time and room for 
moving things around. For me, it says repositional, repositionable, but it really does dry pretty quickly, okay? So I like to use this um, when I'm using a fine glitter. I'll spray it, put it on. It's nice, it, it adheres very quickly, it dries very quickly, and, and it works really well. And then um, when I'm using a very fine glitter, I always like to seal it with some sort of spray just because this the fine glitter if you don't and and I have done it and not sealed it with a you know spray before with a spray I've used something else and it's very easy to get the some areas that are super flat and smooth and some areas that are normal, you know? So I do like to um, do that. So this works also really well. It's not really my go-to, but it is something that I do use on a regular basis. And then I have this one. This is the E6000 spray and it's no odor, and for me, I really don't notice an odor with it. Um, however, I still spray it outside, and the reason for that is because it can have a very wide mist, and I used it inside once, and it went all over. So I do really tend to spray it outside. Now, this one, kind of like this, um, you can get some drips. So if you're first putting it on your cup and, um, you know, it's a little slippery or whatever, you might have to take your gloved finger and just sort of make sure that everything is even on it, whatever. But it does work really well. It dries, you know, pretty quick works and it works good and this I have found works well for chunky and fine glitter and very fine so it does work really well and I like it so this one this is the Elmer's extra strength spray adhesive now I really like this also because um, and all of these dry clear. <coughs> this has a nice strong tack and glitter hangs onto it really well. I feel like it doesn't have as much of a um, smell to it. It does have a pretty wide spray though, so I do like to... Um, also use it outside so <clears throat> sorry about that my phone rang so anyways yes yeah, so this one um i also like to do outside because it does have a large brain radius although i don't find the smell to be too bad it works really well so you know on this stuff it's just kind of your preference or what you can find the other one that i did use that i don't have here because I used it all and threw it away, was the Scotch spray adhesive. And it was um, $8.88, I think, at Walmart. It's in the red and white can. Also works really, really well. You know, my favorites, again, are the Tacky Glue and the Mod Podge. All right, so listen, I hope that this was helpful and, um, you know, I wish you the, the best of crafting. I hope that you make great, beautiful tumblers. And I hope you have a blessed and beautiful rest of the day. If you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, hit subscribe. Thanks, friends. See you later. Bye.